Okay, Mother Wolf is one of the hottest Italian restaurants in Los Angeles, and lucky for us, they've opened Mother Wolf here at Fountain Blue, Las Vegas. And no one knows more about pasta than its chef, Evan Funky. And he gave Kelly a one-on-one -on -one lesson. Take a look. Look at me, little Kelly Ripa from Berlin, New Jersey, here at Mother Wolf with chef Evan Funky, the foremost authority on pasta. And Thank he is you. going to teach me. You are going to mold these hands into pasta-making hands. Is I that correct? That. I do that every day. What are we day. making today? So we're going to make uh, ricotta gnocchi. Mm. In Rome, they have what's called gnocchi di giovedì, which means Thursday. Thursday. And in anticipation of the Friday Catholic holiday where they only eat fish, right. they would eat something substantial, like mm. gnocchi with ragu. So we're going to make a ricotta gnocchi, which is slightly lighter. Okay. So. Here we have, you want to do this? Yes, sure. Okay, please. Put me okay. to work. So we have some ricotta. This is beautiful bellwether ricotta, full fat always, mm. all the time. And then go ahead and add this parmigiano. Okay. All of it, the full send. Thing. Okay, and then... And now the eggs. Eggs. These are gorgeous eggs. Aren't they? Yes. I love them. Eggs. Okay, so we have a little bit of noce moscato, so take nut that okay, and, and then grate, grate about 20 grates, 20 grates of the nutmeg into there. So look, now here's a magic seed. Okay. A little bit of baking powder. And then we have a little bit of salt. Okay. Full send? All of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now okay. what we want to do is just gently fold. Mm. We don't want to knead this. We just want to gently fold. Gently fold. You want to try that? Yeah. Do you give good massages? I was actually a professional masseuse for two years. It shows. It shows in the way you were handling that pasta. I just said that on national TV. Uh, gently, even pressure, just roll it out. Just like that. We should do it together like that scene from Ghost. <laughs> I'll be Demi Moore and you can be Patrick Swayze. Or I you thought can, I was gonna be You Demi can Moore. be Demi Moore if you want. We're just gonna take and cut strips. Straight cut, Straight. just like that. Go ahead. This is where it gets really... Nerve wracking? Nerve wracking. I hear you have good knife skills. I have the worst knife skills on earth. Who told you that lie? Why are you I won't, lying I won't to tell chef? Me. I won't tell. So all we need to do is that. These are, you know, for later. Just cut. Perfect. Perfect. And now you have gnocchi. These freeze amazing. You can also throw these in fryer oil oh. and deep fry them and they puff up. Glorious. So are we cooking this pasta within the uh, Gelman marital bed sheet? No. So if you're a shepherd, this is mm -hmm. the beautiful thing of this, the history of cacio e pepe. Okay. This is called cacio e pepe al pano, which means a in linen. Okay. And if you are a shepherd, you have to travel very lightly. You have salted pecorino cheese that you make mm. from your sheep. You have black pepper, and you have some pasta that hopefully your grandmother has made and packed okay. away in your you know, satchel. Um, but you typically only have one pot. Here we have a pasta boiler and right. saute pans and all of that. But if you're in the campo, overwatching your flock of mm -hmm. sheep, we have the linen. Incredible. So we boil the pasta, we boil the spaghetti uh, till it's very soft. And then we hit it with black pepper uh -huh. and pecorino. And then we toss. That's it. That's it. We have the spaghetti, mm -hmm. just a touch of olive oil, and we're just going to put it into the linen. Now, the shepherds would use black pepper for the thermal qualities. Oh. It's basically like drinking yourself a jacket. Yes. They're using the black pepper to keep themselves warm in cold nights. Smart. So black pepper abundante, and then pecorino. Ugh. OK. It and then smells all we so do good. I'm so is just toss this together in the linen, a little bit more pecorino. Always. And it holds in the perfume. You can tuck this away and eat it later. We should try it now, though, no? Almost. Almost? Patience. I don't have any of that. There you go. Do Italians... Do Italians make pasta themselves like this all the time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I brought the aromatics. This is an experience. You know, just to make sure it's right. You did it right. Mm -hmm. I did nothing, I watched you. Well done. There's you want to try it? some pizza? No. Yes, okay. I do. This just came out of like a thousand degree oven, so it's a little hot. So this is pizza tonda alla romana. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Oh, thin. it's like so thin. Okay. As it should be. This so many different types of pizza. And pizza is like so personal to people. Yeah. And I wanted a pizza with a texture of a Dorito. Yes. So when I, you eat it. It's like a communion wafer. Communion crunchy. wafer pizza. Yeah. <laughs> is it okay if I just. Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, you don't mind? This whole pizza is yours. Do you hear that, Gelman? It's my pizza. Cheers, Cheers. Chef. Thank you for this. It's hot. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, thank you very thank much, you. Chef. I really oh. appreciate this. Thank you so much. This was a pleasure. Come back. I will. I will. I'm starving. Okay. Thank you, Chef Evan Funky, and everyone at Mother Wolf Las Vegas. Next, we talk with DJ Polly D. Oh, look, and I brought you home a yes. focaccia. So good. <laughs>